since this game belongs to a client, I cannot actually show the game, but I can show the code, how I managed to send JSON data to the client server. So I'm just going to show that to you. So please keep in mind, I do not really know how some of this code works. I know it works, and now I'm sharing this with you. And uh, first of all, I'll tell you how I converted the data that I wanted into a JSON string. So I created a class over here, which is this class, and it has these three variables, and these three variables are initialized in the constructor. Very simple stuff. And over here, I'm going to initialize, uh, I'm actually going to make an object over here of that class. And then I use this line of code over here, these two lines of code, to actually uh, convert this into a JSON string. So I convert the object to a JSON string. Then I have this routine over here, and this routine is going to send the data to the client server. So what you do is over here, since this is the client's, uh, a client's URI or URL, URI, I mean on the internet they call it URI, so I'm going to call it URI. This is the URI over here, and this is where the data is supposed to be sent. So your URI will probably be different, so it's going to be HTTPS and then something. So uh, the URI you're supposed to insert over here inside this using Unity Web Request, and then name your variable, then new Unity Web Request, and you're going to use the method post. After that, you're going to write all of this code, and then if your if you've successfully if your server has successfully sent a response, then you can check the response using this line of code over here. Now again, I do not know what most of this uh, code means. A web developer will be able to help you, but this has worked for me, and hopefully it'll work for you. And if it doesn't, please do uh, comment. I'll probably be able to help you if uh, I can solve the problem for you. But generally speaking, this is how you send uh, JSON to a server. And uh, uh, this, I hopefully this will help you. But do remember, there are two things that you need to note. First of all, this is the data that I needed for the, for the client's game. You might have other data, whatever data you want to send, just make, make a public class and then use the constructor to just pass, to initialize the, initialize the variables. And after you convert into a JSON string, then use this routine with this exact same code, except your URI should be different. So that's the second thing, the URI should be different. Insert whatever URI you wish to send the data to over here. Okay, and that's it. Oh, another thing that I forgot to add in the, in, in, before I ended the video is that uh, I actually wanted to show how this works. So I cannot, again, I cannot show the game to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, uh, I'm just going to uh, print the response and I'm going to show what the response looks like. Okay, so I actually ran the game and I sent the data to the server and this is the response I got. So you can see this is the response, and over here you can see this is the response, and this is the this is this is what the server sent back. So uh, this works, and this is the data that I actually sent to the server. There it is. This is that JSON string that I was talking about, and this is that uh, this is that uh, data, and uh, then I got the response over here. So yeah, that's it.